What is up guys, Matt Gamer here today. Today you guys are just seeing some more Battlefield Hardline gameplay. I know I've like shoved this in your faces like a crap ton of times like within this past month. This game actually like somewhat grew on me so I've been playing it a good amount. This game, don't get like all excited. This game is like just XP based, literally like just the game I'm playing right now. I got just, we're playing some blood money here. I just like just stocked up with the loot grab, just ran over to my base like a good... 10 times at least and just got I mean I got top of the leaderboard but I got like no kills I think I went like 0 and 1 or 0 and 3 or something but I just wanted I just wanted that XP because I'm trying to level up in this game because Battlefield is not the easiest thing to level up in so been trying to level up real quick in the little minimal time that I've been playing I've actually been sick as of late I was sick for uh, two days Thursday and Friday I wanted to get you guys out a video on Thursday I have a good amount of Destiny stocked up. I have some Minecraft stocked up that I have yet to show you guys. I also have a Destiny gameplay from another YouTuber, Elusive Myth, that I'm going to be showing you guys. Probably my first Destiny gameplay video will be that, like, new new one out this month. Uh, so this commentary, really, I just wanted to talk about what to expect from my channel, but not just that, like, what games are coming out for xbox one because that's my main system and all that stuff and it's pretty similar to ps4 in some aspects except for the except for the strictly system except for the strictly system games that are out for each console like halo etc and all that shit uncharted stuff like that I'm, but uh, there's none of that ever out right now or soon to be anyways so first thing i want to talk about is uh house of wolves i'm gonna play house of wolves i don't know i don't know shit about house of wolves so um i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna like it i hear so you guys are gonna see what that is there's a new uh horde mode should be pretty fun uh it's i don't even think it's called horde i probably just fucked that up it's not even called horde i bet or maybe it is called horde anyways you just get spawned in like some random ass arena there's a billion of them I mean, i'm saying arena like there's nobody sitting there cheering for you they're all fucking dead or nobody's even there to begin with anyways you're just like spawned in some place you just like you're killing a bunch of enemies they can be high they can be anybody to my uh to my knowledge i guess so, that, and then you get spawned in different arenas and stuff like that. I don't think it's called Horde Mode. Don't look up Horde Mode. That sounds like something else. Or maybe it is called Horde. I don't fucking know. Alright. The second game I'm going to talk to you guys about is Witcher 3. I know nothing about this. Like, absolutely nothing. I was uh, talking to a friend at school about this, actually. And it sounded like a pretty cool game. And I watched a gameplay video of it. And it looked so realistic that I just had to play it. Like, sometimes games... The realism within games just kind of just makes me involved in it, just wants to play it, because it looks really cool, and it looks like Skyrim, and I'm obsessed with Skyrim, that's what we're going to talk about next, I just love Skyrim so much, this look just like it, and this is like the first like real time you get to free roam, and the size is like, I don't know if it's bigger than Skyrim's world size, probably not, but it is a huge, huge map, and it's free roam, and that is like two things I love, huge maps and free roaming. If Call of Duty was a free roam game, I'd probably hate it, but I just love free roam games so much that, like, I probably would like it. Like, just going all over the place, buying shit, buying houses, getting in cars, I just love that whole thing. That's why I love Grand Theft Auto as well. Stuff like that. Alright, so here's the next game. I got, like, a little list here. Um, we got Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Now, this game has been pushed back, pushed back, and pushed back for numerous months. And I'm just ready for this to come out because I've been I've been trying to I've been trying to pre-order it and I have pre-ordered it, but then I keep getting like these messages like it's almost time for Elder Scrolls, come on in. Then I get another email saying it's almost time for Elder Scrolls, come on in, and then all of a sudden the emails just stopped and like, yeah, because this shit keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. So hopefully they got a set date. It says right here, June 9th. Hopefully that doesn't fire back anymore, because this game, I loved uh, Elder Scrolls, loved that game. Um, so the Tamriel Unlimited is supposed to be before Skyrim, way before that. So, um, yeah, it's supposed to be way before uh, Skyrim and that whole world began, it's supposed to be way before that. There's going to be an online mode, now to my knowledge there's going to be some mode that is like this. 
Uh, now, I can't name it, but they've described it as this. You're, there's going to be four teams. I don't know if this is for the whole time or maybe for modes you want to be in. There's going to be four teams. You each get some sort of castle or some sort of base, and you have to just go after each other and take over the, each other's bases or destroy them entirely. So that's pretty cool, that destruction aspect or that, like domination aspect yeah see guys i went 0 and 1 on this game that aspect is pretty cool last game i'm going to talk about within two seconds is arkham knight you guys know how great the arkham series is i just am so stoked for that game they've never let us down the arkham series has never been garbage i mean the last the most recent arkham game i think it was arkham knight that was a little shaky but i mean it was still great and i'll always have love for the arkham series i'm just Really pumped for uh, this whole year of gaming. These new games come rolling in about this time. Um, just really pumped for it. And then, of course, you got Halo. You got Call of Duty. You got your Maddens and all your sport games coming up. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I'll see you guys soon. Expect some Destiny gameplay. All right. See you guys later.